everyone, I'm Judith Jones, food and travel editor of the Gourmet Travelista, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make walnut granola. So what we're going to need is one quarter cup of honey, one third of a cup of sunflower seeds, three quarters of a cup of shredded coconut, one quarter cup of wheat germ, one cup of lovely walnuts, one cup of brown sugar, one quarter cup of vegetable oil, two tablespoons of water, a pinch of salt, three cups of old-fashioned oats, and one cup of currants. All right, so first things first, we're gonna take our dry ingredients, our old-fashioned oats, put them into the bowl. Now, make sure you use old-fashioned or steel-cut oats because it gives it that thicker, denser texture, and it's much better to use than, obviously, instant oats. So we've got that in there, and let's pop in our nuts. Voila, comme ça and our coconut goes in there too. This is very simple and quick to prepare. A lot of people think, you know, granola is such a hard thing to, to make, but in fact, all you need is these basic ingredients and you're just fine. So we've got all our dried, dried ingredients in the bowl, aside from our, from our currants, which we're gonna add at the end. So, now we'll add in our wet ingredients plus the brown sugar. So let's put that in there. And now I'm gonna add in the honey. And then we're gonna add in our quarter cup of vegetable oil and our salt. Let's just get a little pinch in there. All right, and it's probably easier to just whisk that all together and that's gonna be a lovely sweet uh, dressing for our granola. And now I'm gonna also add in the two tablespoons of water. Just let that all mix in there. And that's gonna cover our oat and nut mixture just nicely. So we'll mix all that in. All right, let's get our dried ingredients and we'll just pour it into the mixture. There we go. Oh, it smells so good, especially with that coconut and nuts. It's a really healthy breakfast cereal. Full of protein and full of fiber too. All right. We're gonna preheat our oven to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, which we've already done. And then we're gonna get our baking sheet and we're gonna spray it with some non-stick spray. Make sure it's all covered. There we go. Now it's very quick to prepare granola, but um, it stays in the oven for a little while. We're gonna put it in there for an hour and 15 minutes, um, and we'll stir it occasionally, probably every about 15 to 20 minutes. So let's get all the good stuff out on there. Spread it evenly on your baking sheet. And that's it everyone. How quick and simple was that? Now we're gonna put it in the oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour and 15 minutes. So our granola has been in the oven for about an hour and 15 minutes and every 15 to 20 minutes we've made sure we've stirred that up so it doesn't uh, burn. And so now it's about ready. Nice and golden brown. So we're gonna add in the last uh, part, which is our beautiful currants. Now we're gonna add this at the end because we want the currants to stay nice and chewy and if we heat them up, they're gonna become a different texture. So let's get all that around there and that is just such a great morning breakfast to have with yogurt, almond milk, soy milk, you know, whatever you like with it, it's gonna taste very good. Now, make sure to store that in an airtight container in a dry, cool part of the house, and it can last for up to two months. And there you have it, everyone. That is your walnut granola. Thanks for watching today, everyone, and make sure to subscribe to our website to watch plenty of other fantastic videos. And if you have any email requests, you can email requests at mahalo.com, and we'll be sure to answer any questions and queries you might have. Thanks again.